Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you all are doing great. This is Fatima Abbas and today we are going to learn how to move the pattern inside the shape, how to scale it down, how to rotate it and how to change the background color. So let's get started. So I'm gonna draw a square. I'm going to increase its size a little bit like this. Now if you observe closely, when I will move this square shape, the pattern inside isn't moving. So to move the pattern inside the shape, what I will do is, I will press first of all the selection tool or you can press V on your keyboard. And then you need to press Crave Accent key and you can easily move it on some keyboards you need to press control with it and on some laptops or keyboards you need to press alt with it uh, on my laptop it's uh, working with um, uh, the combination of uh, control and grave accent key so you can you know try these all combinations on your keyboard and see which one is working for you and you know do let me know in the comment section as well because i worked so hard sorting it out from my keyboard Next comes the scaling portion, so now see if you select the square and if you scale it down and the pattern isn't scaling with it. So to scale the pattern, I'm going to select this scale tool, I'm going to double click on it and our panel will appear. Now you can uncheck this transform object as I want to scale only the pattern and I'm going to click on this uniform and preview so I can see what is happening and now I can change its value and you see the pattern is scaling accordingly. In the same way we can rotate the pattern. I'm gonna double click the rotate tool and again a panel will appear. I'm gonna click on the preview I will only keep the transform patterns checked and now I can change its angle according to my preference. Let's see how can we change the background colors and I'm, I'm gonna double click on it and pattern options will appear. Now I'm gonna select this box and you see here I can change its color. Isn't it beautiful? I can change any color. This orange is looking really pretty. So now you can either save a copy or you can click on done. I'm gonna save its copy. So I'm gonna give it an orange name or the orange tag. Now click on OK and you will see that the both the patterns will appear in the swatches. This is how we can deal with pattern inside Adobe Illustrator. Hope you like this tutorial. If you want to see some more tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and do hit the bell icon.